Hi, Denise Jordan here, and I am so glad you decided to plan with me at Makeup on Aisle 64. I wanted to talk to the newbie planners today. I know when I first started this planning thing, I was so overwhelmed and I ran out and bought so many things, things that it turned out I either didn't need, didn't like, or don't use. So I thought I would bring this video to that newbie planner to let them know what they absolutely had to have to start planning. First of all, you need a planner. This is my planner. I have the Erin Condren Life Planner and I absolutely love it. And as you can see, I love decorating in it. Now, when we talk about plan with me, one of the things we do is show our plans for the week. The other thing we do is decorate our planner. So if you are a planner addict like I am, there will be some things that you need, but you don't have to run out and get everything right at once. So start with a planner that works for you. I have the Erin Condren Life Planner this year. I'm going to order the Inkwell Press as soon as it's available. That's another one that I've just been lusting after. I also ordered the Get to Work book. It looks like it's a great planner and I'd like to give it to try. There are other planners that you can find. The Happy Planner. Just so many that you can find available. Pick something that works for you and then think about what kind of things do you need to work with it. One of the things that you absolutely have to have is something to organize your planner supplies in. Now I found this little bag. It is the um, Sonia Kashik Weekender at Target and it costs somewhere between $25 and $30 and I thought it was pretty good value. If you're looking for those Orla Kylie Weekenders or cosmetic bags that all the planner gurus have online forget it. You're not going to find them. Well, take it back. You might be able to find one on eBay, but the prices will be so outrageous it'll be ridiculous. So just find something else that'll work for you and get the job done. Like I found this Sonia Kashik Weekender. And the reason why I like this bag so much is because it everything that I need to plan fits right in it. My planner fits down into this little pocket right here. I keep an extra pen. And what kind of pen do you need? Well, you want a Pilot G2 pen because it's really nice and black and it gives you a good script when you're writing. This is the um, 2.0, the Pilot G2. So there's that. Now, when you look here, you'll see that there are some pockets that I can put things in. This particular pocket right now is empty. This pocket over here, I have things that I find very necessary to planning. One of them is an extra glue stick. So I have this glue stick here. And then I have this little tin of goodies that I like to use. It's got some paper uh, things that I have cut out, some hexagonals, some little, um, uh, little cards, some paint chip cards. I've also got some Project Life cards and other kind of cards that are in here that I can either use in my planner or use with my list. They're just extra little pieces of planning goodness that I like to keep with me. So I just stick it all down in there and this is my extra glue stick. And this double-sided zip is wonderful because now I've got this part zipped closed. Now I'll open up the other side. The other side has my planning tools. So in this pouch here, I have a pair of scissors that I got when I was scrapbooking a long time ago. But these are Cutter B scissors. I also have a set of tweezers. And as you can see, they're very old because the little rubber thumb grip is gone on that side. But they're very sharp. They're very good. And I use them to help me lift and use embellishments. So if you need a pair of good tweezers, scissors and tweezers, you need a great glue stick. 
a larger pair of scissors to cut larger things. An adhesive roller, which I picked up at Target. A whiteout roller, which I also picked up at Target, and I hate this one. I would find one of those pen sized ones if you can that goes on like a, a pen that you write with like a pen. This thing, I've already ruined one of them, and I'm hoping that I don't mess up this one. I absolutely hate it. But I can also keep my uh, washi tape in this one. Now, these are some washi tapes that came off of these rolls and I wrapped it around an old card. So you can use an old credit card. This particular one was a key card to the Marriott or any kind of card. But if I didn't want to keep all of these washi tapes with me, then I could just roll, wrap a few of them around this card and then tuck it in here. But the, these are things that you absolutely need would be some washi tape. And I'm not a big washi tape decorator, so I only have a few. And I tend to like those that are black and white. So these are the ones that I like best. This one I bought, I really don't like it. It was one of the first things I bought, and I realized later that, you know what, I really don't care for this brighter color. This one I bought, and I think I used it like once, and I really hate the color. And this one I've about used up. So that's why I say, just take your time about buying things. Just buy a few things until you know what your planning style is like. Because one of the things that I've learned is that as you progress in your planning, your style will evolve. But you've got to have a couple different sets of scissors, an adhesive roller, white out, glue, and some washi tape. You'll want some. So just buy a couple of rolls until you figure out what it is that you like. Over here, I've got the pens and markers that I use. So this is just a little straight edge ruler that I got from a, a quilt show at one point. I've got a set of sh fine Sharpies. And I use these when I'm writing different things in my planner. A Zag glue stick, or I should say glue pen just a regular old ink pen and a mechanical pencil. I like pencils and I love mechanical pencils, so I tend to use this kind, uh, but the other kind is, will work just as well. There is a pocket behind here, but I don't have anything in it at, at the moment. And then back here, I keep all of my stickers. So if you're gonna decorate in your planner, you will need stickers. But again, I caution you, don't run out and buy too many. This little set of to-do lists you can get at um, Walmart or the tar Target Dollar Spot, something like that. I got this set of sticky notes from uh, Office Depot. It was in their clearance section from their CJ Work collection. And I like sticky notes, but I like them big enough to be able to write notes on when I need to and stickers. I find that I don't like a lot of cutesy stickers, but I do like some stickers. So when you first start out, either buy a set that's in a theme, something that you really like, and just buy a couple until you use those and see how it works, or buy some embellishments that you know you're gonna love. I like shopping, I love shoes, and there's always weddings and birthdays and things like that. So I got these really cute sets of high heels, and I can use those on a, in, in a layout. These are from Jolie, I got these at Michael's. These are also from Jolie. There's always weddings to go to, so these little wedding cakes I can use in my planner to represent a wedding that I need to go to. There are always birthdays, so again, little cupcakes that I can put on to represent birthdays. This was fun, one of the first sets of stickers that I got and they're just a little whimsical, and I don't normally like a, a, a lot of whimsy, but I just thought these were adorable, and I do use them occasionally, but not a lot in my planning. Now, I love Doc McStuffin, and what I tend to use her for, since I am a nurse and I do have uh, things that are medical related in my planning, I would either use her for clinical days or for doctor's appointments or different things like that. So I do have these stickers. And I have another set of McStuffin stickers somewhere, but I didn't bring them out. This is another set of birthday stickers that I could use. 
And the nice thing about these stickers that I've got, especially as you begin your planning journey, one of the things you want to make sure you do is get stickers that will actually fit in your planner. And these stickers will actually fit on a layout. So that's why I chose this size. You can see how the McStuffin sticker fits here. I've got some shopping stickers that I put right along there to go along with my shopping theme. And this was a happy birthday and, you know, kind of birthday things that I had at the time. Now, inspirational phrases are always good. And this pack I got from Hobby Lobby. It is from the Paper Studio, and I think I got it half off one with a coupon. Now, this particular stick of pack, they're very nice. You can cut them out and then peel them off, but they are almost impossible to separate from the bagging. Once you get them peeled off, they go on clear so you can lay them on top of other paper, that kind of thing in your planner, but they are hard to get out and they're large, so they don't necessarily fit into your block. So it depends upon where on your planner you might want to use them. So that's something to think about. Now here are some stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby and they're from the Happy Planner Collection. These stickers do fit in the Erin Condren Planner and I have some of these in a layout here. For example, this Make It Happen came from one of these collections, probably this one. Um, this Noted one came from this particular uh, collection. So they really fit nicely into your planner and they have lots of different pages. So there's all kinds of things in here that you can use and um, to help you plan. Here are some that I had cut out that I keep in my uh, planner kit, but I wanted just to kind of stick them back in here because these are some of the ones that I use quite a bit and I wanted you to be able to see those. So you can just kind of see. And one of the things that I find is that I tend to like a lot of the black and white themed stickers. So as you get to know what your style is, you'll be more discerning about the kinds of things that you buy. But I like this size. I like the phrases, that kind of thing. So those work well. Something else that you'll need are some sticky notes and flags. You can use these all over your planner. I've got some here and I use some of these and I just kind of trimmed them to make little flags like that. Um, and they really work well in your planner. So make sure you get some sticky notes. You can find them at Target, at Walmart, at Hobby Lobby, some of anywhere. I think I got this set at Walmart from their back to school sale. And then this little pack of goodness I kind of created for myself. I just took a... Um, I think it was an old uh, picture frame. You know when you get pictures from a photographer and they have this little black frame around them and then you take them home and put them in a real frame? Well, I took that and just put a piece of scrapbooking paper over the top to make it decorative and then put some sticky notes here and then uh, tape this down and put some to-do notes there. And then I put in some uh, little flags that has things like remember chores to buy that I might want to put in my planner. Another set of sticky notes because I love sticky notes are in there as well as pieces of uh, scrapbooking paper that I might want to use in my planner. So I keep this and it's kind of hard so it keeps the paper protected and doesn't let it bend and I keep that. So now what do you absolutely have to have to decorate your planner? You gotta have a set of markers as you, as I showed you. You need markers, you need stickers, um, you need paper, and you need somewhere to keep it. Particularly if you have little ones, one of the things that you wanna be able to do is have all of your scrapbooking, scrapbooking, sorry, I've scrapbooked for a long, long time, but you need to have all of your planning supplies in one place. Particularly when you're first getting started, you don't want to have to spend a lot of time running around trying to figure out where your things are. So 
So everything that I absolutely have to have to decorate my planner is in here. All of my supplies. My stickers, my washi tape, my pins, my adhesives, everything. And here you go. And you can just kind of put it up, set it on a shelf, and it's out of the way of the kids. And when you're ready to work, you can grab it. Now, once you begin to expand and you've got a few more things and you want to organize them a little better, here's something to think about. You can buy um, a little coupon organizer like this. I got this at um, Office Depot. It was on clearance for like $4.99, and I keep my stickers in it. I found this little set of stickers for $0.36 cent on clearance at uh, Hobby Lobby. I got a good look at that and I thought, my goodness, there's some of everything. Payday stickers, uh, bill paying stickers, game time, dentist, all kinds. So this was really a, gate, a, a good buy. So make sure you look at the clearance section when you go to Hobby Lobby. But I've got other stickers that are in here. Things from various shops that I've bought on Etsy. And that's another thing. Trying to buy stickers on Etsy can be a little overwhelming. So I would suggest look at a couple of videos and then find out where the people that you like get their stickers from. This particular set came from Oh So Pretty Planner. I've gotten several from, I love the stickers and the things from the Reset Girl. I've gotten several things from Lily, Libby, I'm sorry, Libby, and Co. or Libby and Company, but Libby and Co. And then there is a Lily Top Creations also. These are from Lily Top. So you can find some things on Etsy. But take your time. Don't feel like you have to rush and buy everything. But this was just an additional thing that I picked up later once my collection began to expand. You can also pick up something like this from the dollar spot at Target. And a lot of the planner uh, junkies put their stickers in here. So there's plenty of room. And since it's only a dollar, you can buy more than one. So this is a good way to organize some of your things. The other thing that you see a lot of when you're looking at how to organize your planner supplies are this cute little cosmetic bags from Orla Kylie in the Sweet Pea Collection. And don't even try to look for them because they are nowhere to be found. Again, unless you go to eBay and pay a ridiculous amount for them. However, I found this at Steinmark for $19.99 and it does everything that that other cute little cosmetic bag does for me. So you just open it up and it's in four compartments. And I can expand what I store in here now. I can put some tools in here, in this particular pocket here, I can put in additional sticky notes, washi tape, uh, stickers and different things that I want to use. These are some things that I bought when I first got into the planning um, arena. I haven't used them yet, don't know if I would, I know I'll use these. I'm not too sure if I like these or not though, but I've got them so we'll see what happens. But. They fit down in here just nicely. Again, these little cards you can wrap your washi tape around. Then you don't have to have the whole roll with you. Extra scissors. And then here I can keep some LeBlanc pins. These are pins that I used to use when I was using my scrapbook stuff. A red pin that I used to grade papers with. Why it's in here, I don't know. And then, of course, a larger permanent Sharpie. So I keep these things in here. And then I love this particular compartment because I can put extra papers, stickers, and different things in here. And the nice thing about it is that it folds up flat. Just fold it up. It's got a magnetic clip and it's all done. So now, what do you absolutely have to have to plan is all right here. This is all you need is everything is in here and truthfully, 
If you're not ready to buy a bag, you can keep it in the box. But if you wanted to get a bag, then this works just fine. You've got everything you need to go. And then as you build your supplies, add something that you can store more of your equipment in. And then something to store more of your stickers in. And that's it. There you have it. So if you're a newbie planner, I hope you found this information useful. Let me know if there's other things you want to hear about. That's it for now from Planning on Makeup on Aisle 64, and I'll have more news for you later. Bye.